Hello, my name is Ken Marlin, and I'm with Avnet, and I'm here to introduce you to Windows Embedded Device Manager. OEMs who deliver dedicated function devices that are powered by operating systems often need to update or even completely replace the software on systems already sold and deployed at remote customer settings. Some OEMs require all or part of the system be shipped back to the manufacturer for updating. Other OEMs have the systems updated by sending out a field technician or by having the end user employ upgrade or recovery media. These methods of applying field upgrades are costly and time consuming. Many companies use Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, also known as SCCM, to inventory, manage, and update desktops and servers within their enterprise. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how customers can enable SCCM to also inventory, manage, and update their devices that are running on Windows Embedded. Microsoft created Windows Embedded Device Manager, also known as Weedem, as an add-on to Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. SCCM is Microsoft's enterprise management tool that allows network administrators to inventory, manage, and keep control of nodes on enterprise networks, including clients that are remotely connected over the internet. SCCM is known as the tool by which network administrators manage multiple systems from a single pane of glass. With Weedem, SCCM can now manage embedded devices such as digital signage, kiosks, point of service, and complex medical equipment. With the Weedem client installed on connected devices using Windows Embedded, they can be collectively grouped and managed as collections. In addition to the management tasks typically performed on desktop and servers on the enterprise, customers can now do tasks specific to embedded devices such as pushing updates and applications to devices that have write filters enabled and managing embedded configurations. This means that you can still have devices with a strong protection that enhanced write filter or file-based write filter provide while still being able to easily push out updates or applications. This is much easier than the process normally used to update protected devices. In our demonstration lab, we're using SCCM and Weedem to manage a Devon IT thin client, a magnetic 3D digital signage system, and a virtual machine running Hyper-V. First, let's take a look at the management console. Our server is configured to fully simulate an enterprise environment. This means that it is running as an active directory domain controller, DHCP and DNS servers, and RRAS server to provide clients on the private lab network access to the internet. Of course, we will also have SCCM and Weedem installed as well. Let's take a look under computer management. This is the same console that is used for SCCM. It just has the additions in it that are provided by Weedem. There are some things added to the normal SCCM console by Weedem. If you expand the collections node, we can see an automatically created collection for Windows embedded devices. And below it, we can see a variety of different device classes. When a device has the Weedem client installed, it will be automatically added to the appropriate collection. This is configurable when the client is installed. Also, here near the bottom, we have a node for Embedded Device Manager. Expanding that, we can see sections for device imaging, device configuration, and write filter servicing. These nodes allow us to create custom actions and configurations for our embedded devices. Let's take a look at deploying an application to an embedded device. Here we can see our Devon IT node. We can push an application to this device by right-clicking, choosing Distribute, and then Software. Now we have a wizard that allows us to choose what we will be distributing and when. Here we have the ability to create a new package or select an existing one. I'm going to select the Google Chrome package. In a full SCCM environment, you will typically have multiple servers that act as distribution points. In our environment, we only have our lab server but you can see that we have multiple distribution points. The second one is for Pixie packages that are used when re-imaging a computer. Now we can see the select program from the package that you wish to execute. A single package can have multiple programs exposed. This allows creating more flexible packages. In this case, you can see that there are two available, one for install and one for uninstall. The next dialog allows us to specify which systems the program should be executed on. The default will create a new collection to hold the device we are targeting. You could also choose a different existing one, such as all Windows Embedded devices or all thin client devices, in which case the package would be deployed to all of the devices in that collection. We are just going to use the default for this demonstration. Since we are creating a new collection, we have the opportunity to name it here. When creating collections, you can create rules to control what devices should be in the collection. The parameter can vary from a single machine name, as we have in this case, or other system properties such as CPU type, the amount of RAM, the OS version, and many others. We also have the opportunity to name the new advertisement and add any comments we wish to apply. 
specify if it will apply to only the specified collection or if it should include sub-collections. Next, we can specify a date when this advertisement expires. In this case, never. And finally, we can specify that the package should be assigned. This means that the package will be deployed to the device without any user interaction or choice about it. For this package, we want to assign it. In addition, we want to be sure that it will install at any time without regard for maintenance windows. The last two screens just allow us to review everything we just specified. Now we will deploy an additional package. In this case, we are going to push the IT Suite scanner to all Windows Embedded devices. Now that we have successfully pushed some packages out, let's take another look at the Weedom console. Here we can see device images that we can deploy to the nodes in our environment. These device images listed correspond to the WIM files that we have captured from the devices as well as other images that can be used for new devices that we add. On this tab, we can see the information about the image including the OS version, target architecture, language, and more. Here we can see the WIM file that contains the OS image. Images are deployed using a task sequence. These sequences allow us to specify a variety of information about how the image will be deployed. Here we can see the different settings this specific task sequence will use when applying an image. Note that we can specify the message that will be shown to a user when the device is being re-imaged. We can specify how the disk will be partitioned, information like the local administrator password, network settings, and can specify any additional device drivers that are needed by the system. Now we can specify that an image be pushed out to a device. First, we need to specify which collection this advertisement will apply to. We are going to select our collection that contains the Dev and IT clients. We also want to make sure the sequence is available to Pixie since we are going to be re-imaging the device. We can also specify a start time for this advertisement. We can keep that as a default but we can want to specify a mandatory assignment in this case to force the client to reinstall. We are selecting a couple other options here to ensure that the re-image starts soon. We need to set some additional settings to ensure that the device will be able to access its resources during the install as well. We can specify a custom countdown to re-image. We'll specify one minute in this case. We can also modify the security rights, but the defaults will work for us. Now we can see a summary of everything we just configured for this advertisement. Soon we will see the Devon client reboot and begin the re-imaging process. Thanks for watching this demonstration. Hopefully we have illustrated the ways in which Weedom can make your life easier by making your embedded devices manageable. The Weedom client software can be installed on the Microsoft Embedded Desktop Operating System such as Windows Embedded Standard and Pause Ready as well as on Windows Embedded Server. The Weedom client can be included in the system's image at no cost. If the customer wants to take advantage of Weedom's functionality, they can purchase the Weedom add-on for Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager and the Weedom client runtimes through their Microsoft Volume License Agreement. For more information on the Microsoft Embedded Windows Embedded Device Manager and Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, contact your local Avnet representative or email Microsoft at avnet.com.